greetings, my fellow Long Darkens. Welcome back, Long Dark and Looper. Now we are about day 89, I think around 90 almost. About 90 days out here. Majority of that, about almost 80 days out in Desolation Point. We've been out here a while. Enough to make you kind of sick of Desolation Point, am I right? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to give that bear like a week. If he doesn't come back, I think we're going to jump ship for a while. I mean, I know we're on half the camp is... Yeah, I mean, we've got an easy step here. We could hit, we could, I could last out here a year or two. Before I'd have to even think about leaving, more than likely. But, yeah, we do have the summit. we got stuff to see as well. So I'm going to give that bear a week or so. See if he check, come, comes back. Get that bed roll. Get as conditioned as we can. Took two deer hides here. I am kind of thinking of one, two, three, four. This, this I believe it's two. Just make I I'm pretty positive. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure. You never know. It's a big question. There's gonna be more crafting options if you I'm I think we're going to get something out of the moose. I'm hoping moose hat. Because I've been wearing that moose hat on stream for like a year now. We're going to go check the... Uh, I know it's a little early. Then pick up some water. Then we'll head back over to uh, Hibernia as well. How cool is it? Oh, only negative 27. See, it does. Kind of bottoms out there, it seems. So really, it's probably around negative 50. So a little, a little chilly. Rabbits? Yeah, one rabbit. I'm gonna imagine it's gonna be too cold in here. Yeah, let's repair it now. Nope, well, we might. How cold is it in here? Because I, mean, I would like to balance it out if we're gonna do some crafting. Let's be proactive. Actually, no. I bet the bear skin bed roll out, we probably could, but uh, I don't know if that's that big a deal. I said, cabin fever hasn't poked at us in a long time. Worst comes to worst, I break out the bear skin bed roll, we can take care of that. Probably when we do move out of here, though, I'm going to go up to Coastal Highway. Uh, going to make some arrows. Because we've got a lot of birch out there. i got a lot of arrowheads. We've got a lot of feathers. Get up that archery skill. Hopefully, maybe at least level four. Get a little nicer. Plan on doing a lot of fishing out there. A lot of fishing. So, I'm kind of liking the idea of that uh, cabin up out in Pitney Ground. But that is not as close to the fishing spot as I'd like. Does have a bear out there that we could hunt, though. So I've actually got a trick for that bear. I've always wanted to try, but we just haven't had got a chance lately. Oof, a little bit cold. All right, let's go work on this guy. Do I feel bad about this? Ah, maybe after the first couple, but now it's just, we're in too deep. There's no way we're going to be able to explain this to the cops. I'm just, I'm just saying. Okay, that's all. Just want to make sure. We're on the up and up. Get warmed up. 
I'll grab some more water, then we'll head back down. Why don't you just bring all the water over here? Well, you know, I kind of like to travel around a little bit. A little bit dangerous with the weather, but I like to keep, try to keep ourselves busy. Oh, the meat. Don't forget the meat. Oh, I'd love to see that bear, but... I stay another week. If not, yeah, we'll just... So I think we do have enough air feathers stacked, piled up, to get at least another dozen arrows. Okay, here in this middle ground, we don't see too much company. He's really off his patrol. Not talking about it. I don't think I actually finished my sentence last episode. Uh, somebody, somebody was asking about AI improvement. We have any AI improvements this update. I would not hold my breath on that one. Uh, maybe like a pack mentality. Uh, you know, traveling in packs. Probably not. I mean, they could, but... Generally, I've seen AI in games has not been... I haven't seen really any of the smart AI. In a lot of games lately. Uh, this game, in particular, the AI is not... Not terribly smart. Majority of the time, if you keep your wits about you, you will outsmart them. It'll usually get you as panicking. I've done that on occasion. Got both charging AI out of nowhere. It's like, uh, yeah, panic. I know. It's cold. Just checking stick jam. Well, we do gotta go over and check. Up above the mine, too. Now, there, previously the other day, we had actually gone through and actually gotten some coal while it was still early. So that mine is emptied out for the moment. Thank you for the feather. I know, I'm cold. More water sooner or later. If we do do big fire for water, I would like to do that. Uh, I'd like to do that. Maybe the fire barrel out by Harry Bernie wouldn't be a bad idea. Plus, we'd probably get plenty of uh, wolves coming at us. Give us something to do. <laughs> that sounds like a scary idea, but... Branches? Eh. Not how cold it is lately. I don't think I want to get branches. Let's kind of head up. Keep an eye out for that deer today, though. I think that one deer respawn we're getting is getting uh, more and more. Seems the more we kill, the more we wait. Last time, I'm pretty lucky that we got a uh, we got a combo kill. So the wolf killed the deer, then we killed the wolf. So it was pretty good. Oh, it is a bit foggy. I'm gonna go check up here real quick. I'll do a little bit of stick scouting. Oh, we got one stick. I have a little bit of a field trip to stuff always popping in and out on me. Oh, and we'll get those rose hips. I mean to do that for a while. 
Or we got pain feelers that are expiring, but I'm like, man, I'd have to hurt myself to take those drugs. I mean, we could take it without it, but yeah, like I said earlier, we're not going to get the great effects painkillers normally give you. I'm kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. We're actually going to go up. Because I had an idea of... Maybe once every couple days. Uh, right now, we'll start taking some stuff up. To the uh, mine. There's maybe a couple things at a time. Start stockpiling up for there for when we uh, leave. So if I need to go back for something in Desolation Point... If we don't take everything that's up in the mine, at least we'll have some place. I don't have to go all the way back to, say, the Riken to get it. Because then I feel if we go back to the Riken, we're, like, going to want to stay, so. Yeah, we'll go up here a little bit. We drop some stuff off. Also, a good opportunity to get sticks. Whew, okay. I think I actually do have some stuff here. Other than the quality tools. Alright, we'll go through our inventory here a little bit. Uh. I'm putting that there. We can tackle, we can keep. Don't see why not. Let's see, torch. I'm actually not carrying a whole heck of a lot right now, so. Ah, but it was worth the trip. Let's get out and see some sights every once in a while. I don't think we're going to be able to grab any coal. Yeah, it's getting too dark. But you know what I can do? Yeah. Eh. I thought it was fun. Okay, that seemed like a plan. And the fog would let up. Ah, I did a little bit. I'm gonna go check over here real quick. I was gonna do pretend I was Batman for a second, but I'm like, ah, nah, that's that's that joke doesn't go well with the long dark. Okay, well, yeah, we don't really need the bow out here. We're in mostly safe territory. Ooh, a whole plunter of sticks. We do have to get a fire going soon. For water. We got that coal too at Hibernia. I mean, we could go out to that uh, fire uh, fire bin and just make a whole ton. And I might have to save up a little bit more and do what I used to do. Is I would just get, I would make water like for like two or three days straight. And that's all we would do. We keep the fire going even when I, when we slept, and then when I woke up, we'd just go back and do it again. Well, you never know when we're going to need this. Especially later if I'm charging wolves for food. Knife in hand. Because once the arrows go out, that's more than likely what we're going to have if the fishing eventually goes as well. Yeah, that's mostly what we're going to end up doing. Sometimes you get a wolf up here. Not 
The last time that happened, it's been a while though. The two should have been respawned already. Generally, wolves respawn faster. Because that's the, ma the main thing that'll get you in the game. That's the main thing. Other than you. You probably are your worst enemy in this game. Because sometimes you get in a lull and you're not paying attention and you're like, yeah, you're like, oh, I'll sleep eight hours. Wait, I forgot to put my clothes back on. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Stuff like that. We've all had it happen, I'm sure. More sticks. Oh, I was gonna. I don't know why I walked past that actually. I think I got distracted. Alright, that's fine. Let's head in and warm up. Let's make our way back and take a plan of stuff the next time we go up there. What we're gonna take. Probably a bit of food. I'm gonna start to move some of the food up there. Maybe our bedroll. Yeah, okay, I'll water for a little bit. Sit back. What is the temperature at right now? Negative 14, not too bad. Negative 14, not too bad. Alright. I'm gonna need a little screenshot today. I actually wonder at some point, I wonder if I could fix stuff up. I know a lot of people in Mountaineering Hunt, we've always wanted to fix the roof. Now, like base building in this? Nah, I don't know. Probably not. We already got structures and stuff anyway. I, I believe me, I enjoy base building like none, no one's business, but... I don't know, I feel kind of out of place in this game. Oh, stay away from that. <laughs> That's the birds for Matt's truck. Yeah. Matt's still dead, of course. I might go down there and check that out. I'm sure feathers have respawned since the last time we've been there. It'd be worth checking out. There's a couple of sticks over on that side, I'm sure. Feathers? Feathers? Oh, you guys are stingy. There might be a couple of sticks up in here, so we can get the respawning process started, I guess. Use that coal we got, a little bit of the fur we had gotten in the Riken. We get a nice, good bonfire going. I know, Jennifer, don't worry. We'll head out. I wanna go check the snare? Nah, I'll go, I'll go check that tomorrow. Let's go warm up in the Riken and then we'll probably... We'll start to work on that spare thing of rabbit skin mitts. 
Then I got a bad idea to have a backup system, just in case. I mean, I can't really argue that we ha we have rabbit pills to spare. I have more rabbit pills than we will ever need on this run. I could survive thousands of days, and if we stop now, I'd still have plenty. Ugh, alright. We'll go to the bed, because that will be a tiny bit faster. Time is money, people! Alright, let's get up. Alright. Oof. I am gonna grab that fur. I will... Well, I guess we could take it all. Man, I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay, 34. You're fine, Jennifer. 34, okay. Put that over in Hibernia. It might be time to clear out those wolves again. I've been having a little fun the last couple days with them, but... We really should make an effort to take them down. Wolf skin jackets are not going to get needed repair for a little bit, but more the better. I think we do have a wolf hide up in uh, the lighthouse, along with another deer hide. Where's that bear? Seriously. Where have all the good bears gone? I don't know. You think we maybe drove him off? Maybe he doesn't want to come by anymore? I feel kind of generally bad about that now. Careful, and then I get stuck. Alright. They're calling it a day. Not a horrible idea. Meat pile getting a little thinner, but we've got three meat piles actually, so. Nothing to worry about just yet. Okay, let's. Thank you. Got a little bit of firewood out here. I do believe we've gotten every single piece of our recycled wood, at least in here. What was I going to drop? Oh, the firewood. And this one piece of reclaimed wood. Okay, we'll get to start on that. Post haste. What time is it? Alright, let's go about... And then I'll probably... Yeah, so if we get this started beforehand... Alright, second pair of rabbits can Mitch, which I'll actually just switch out. Not that we really need to. And I'll put the other pair away. So alright, there we go. Another pair of rabbits can mit. Doing nice, doing nice. Some data, yeah, about time to call it a night. What do I want to eat tonight? Ruined wolf meat, it is. 
All right. I'm trying to find out if I want to go out and get the rabbit skins, the rabbit at tomorrow, or do we want to start with a fire? Kind of see how the day goes, I guess. Yeah, see how the day goes. Alright, gang, let's get some... Ah, uh, damn. I was thinking that was another pillow for some reason. I was... I can't use this. Oh, I really want to take that pillow. But, seems like I can't. That's ah, alright. Alright, up and at him, rise and shine, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so we're about at... I'll say we're about at least 90 days. 90 days is a good deal. I'm actually going to go back and check. Just go back to the log a little bit. Man, all I can think about is you do kind of start to see a pattern of our travel. As we go through... Yeah, it's a couple locations over and over again. This is actually when we, uh, on a crumbling highway for a little bit. Pick up that stuff we dropped. Like, that was, I swear that was like the other day. It's like 50 days ago? Really? Yeah, because we actually, I think we did hit a lot of things in, uh, coastal highway. So I'll have to see what's left. Pleasant Valley, Pleasant Valley, Pleasant Valley. So we've never been to Mystery Lake, right? We just started, uh, we went to Mountaineer's Hut. And that was about it. In Turbo Mountain, so we really have not touched anything out there. So there are a lot of, uh, a lot of supplies up on that summit as well. Right, well, gentlemen, I think we'll leave off here. Uh, tomorrow, we'll probably get that fire going. I think I want to get a whole bunch of water brewing. Uh, then we'll see if we can uh, nab a whirlpool too. Alright, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like button. This helps a lot. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.